Hello and welcome back to Gospel Library App Tutorials. My name is Scott and today we'll be looking at another basic Gospel Library App Scripture Study Skill. Today we're going to learn how to make a note. So let's go ahead and jump into your Gospel Library App here. I'm going to open mine. I'm going to go to Scripture in the top left. And today let's go over to Doctrine and Covenants 2. Now what's cool about the Gospel Library App in terms of making a note You'll find this is kind of like with paper scriptures, just writing in your margins. But the good thing is, you'll find you have infinitely more space <laughs> uh, digitally to write than you do in, uh, in paper scriptures. You can just write to your heart's content, and it never looks cluttered. It never gets all bogged down. You never run out of space. Uh, it's fantastic. So let me, just, uh, let me just show you here how this works. Um, as you go along, let's see, let's say you're moving along in verse 2, uh, and it says, uh, He shall plant in the hearts of the children the promise made to the fathers, and the hearts of the children shall turn to their fathers. Let's say I remember that Joseph Smith once said that uh, the word turn here should be translated as sealed. And so I just want to make a note of that in the margin. You'll notice in the, this little uh, dialogue box that pops up, uh, instead of, we've already looked at how to mark on the top left there, look just to the right there where it says note has that little pencil. We're going to touch on that. So I've highlighted the word turn, and I'm going to touch on note. This little dialog box pops up, and now you can write whatever you want. So I'm just going to say here, i.e. be sealed, uh, because that's what Joseph Smith said. And then I'm going to top right uh, of this, I'm going to click save. And now you'll note that uh, the word turn there is highlighted off to the right-hand side of the margin. You'll notice that tiny little sticky note. If I just touch on that, it should pop up, and I see that is connected to, uh, it just says be sealed right there. I'm going to drag this back to get out of my picture there. So that's one way you can do it. You can just type little notes to self, little you know meanings like you would in your normal scriptures. But let me show you. Let's take advantage of the infinite space we have. Uh, here's something you could not really easily do with paper scriptures. Uh, and that is you can put entire quotes, uh, kind of like you would do back in the olden days with little glue ends in your scriptures, but you can just make these as long as you want. Let's say I'm reading along in verse 3, and it says, uh, If it were not so, the whole earth would be utterly wasted at his coming. I've been studying this deeply, and I've also looked at some commentaries, and I found that President Nelson has a really sweet, you know, uh, explanatory statement about this. So let's say, for instance, uh, I was over on, uh, oh, I don't know, how about a random website, scottwoodward.org. Who's that guy? Uh, I've been reading along here this prophetic commentary on DNC2. Down here at the bottom, I noticed this great quote that goes along with verse 3. So I'm just going to highlight this. I'm going to hold down. Not like that. I'm going to hold down on Russell. Nope. Let's see if we can make it. There we go. There we go. What is happening? Hold down on, there we go. For some reason, that was not working. Hold down on his name. I'm going to grab that little bottom right-hand ball. I'm going to pull it through the entire quote. That would be really hard to write all that in my margins. Uh, but I'm just going to click on Copy. Watch this. This is awesome. I'm going to head back to my Gospel Library app. So this, is, this goes along with verse 3. So I'm just going to hold down right next to verse 3. I like to just keep it clean and not highlight the entire verse. Uh, but I'm just gonna, again, I'm going to touch on note, and then I've got all this space. If I just hold my finger down, it's going to ask me to paste. I touch paste, top right, I click save, and boom. Over to the right, you'll notice I have another little sticky note. I touch on that, and there's the entire quote from President Nelson uh, explaining more of the nuances of verse 3. How cool is that? I'm going to drag that out so you can't see it anymore. You'll notice at the very top of the screen, top right of the screen, there's those two dots uh, with those lines. That will show you all the footnotes in this chapter or this section of the Doctrine and Covenants all at once. I'm going to touch on that. You'll notice, wow, I've got the historical context that I've put in there. Uh, then you've got uh, other links I've put on. I'll teach you how to do that a little bit later. Here's the normal 
uh, you'll see 1a, 1b, those are already there. Then you see the one I just put in on verse 2 uh, and the quote from President Nelson there. So it's all there, easily accessible over on the right-hand side. How awesome is that? Yeah, I really like the note function. So there you go. You can write insights. You can copy and paste. You can write questions. Let's say you're teaching along and you want to put a great question in here that you always want to remember to ask when you're teaching this section of the Doctrine and Covenants. Well, you would just, uh, again, hold down, click on Note, type in your question, boom, and uh, it'll be there forever. So play around with the Note function, super cool function. Uh, anyway, I hope that helps. We'll see you next time. Thanks.